turn to the positive things. You can say things like, you are a great leader. You are so skilled in this area, this area, and this area. And that just starts to change the environment, it starts to change the atmosphere of the conversation. And it really turns some things around. So it, try it, it's really good. Focus on serving that person, okay? The reason why they feel hurt and they're probably blaming is because maybe they're exhausted, they had a tough day, something like that. Just try to understand that. And I understand maybe sometimes you're exhausted and you're having a tough day. And again, that's that moment where we just need to let each other off the hook and try to step back and say, you know what, man, this has been a interesting time today. We need to just go ahead and give each other some compliments. And here's the other thing, here's a bonus. Remind each other of your positive and powerful purpose in your life. Remind each other that, man, I am so grateful for having you in my life because I know that in our relationship, this positive, powerful thing is going to be taking place. Start casting amazing vision for the relationship no matter what it looks like because then you're really giving both of you like this awesome vision of what your relationship is. So no matter what it looks like right now, it doesn't even matter because what I believe matters more. And when that person catches that, it's like, okay, all right. You know, there's some things we don't understand because relationships, they're a mess worth making, okay? But what we need to do is just start casting that vision. A lot of times when relationships start to kind of get kind of, uh, get this conflict, it's because we forgot or we need to be reminded of the vision. What is our purpose? What are we doing? Why is this so difficult? It's because we have a great purpose. We are doing something great. That's why this is happening, okay? because it's a confirmation of what we are doing. We're doing something extraordinary. And just say that, I don't care if you believe it or not, say it anyway, <laughs> and just watch that relationship, watch that conversation turn around. What you're doing is taking responsibility for that environment. And you're saying, I'm gonna have this environment change. We're just gonna stop blaming, okay? We're gonna stop blaming. It's not anybody's fault right now. Uh, we're just going to try to come to a conclusion here that is good. That's one way of taking responsibility for this environment, for the atmosphere. What I'm saying is in this conversation, you're just gonna say, I'm gonna take responsibility. I'm not gonna blame you for this and that. Uh, and sometimes we don't get that right. That's okay, okay? Let yourself off the hook. Let the other person off the hook. Just catch yourself when you find yourself starting to blame. Don't blame the person for the way you feel. If you feel a certain way, acknowledge it. Acknowledge how you feel, but don't blame it. Don't blame that person. Uh, you can say something like, hey, uh, I'm not blaming you. This is just how I feel right now, okay? And what can I do to make this better? So I'm gonna stop blaming and I'm going to start uniting. So that's it guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, hit like, and have a great day. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, number one is, one of the first things you need to do. Mic check, one, two. Mic check, one, two. Have you ever posted anything on social media and then you had someone give a response that you thought was a little critical and could have been done a little bit better. You're in the right place if you're going if that has happened to you. Well, that's good because I have some information that I think will be very useful uh, for you when you.